Hello everybody, Nathaniel from RCSA here, and today I am back with another LEGO news video for you guys. Uh, this morning, a bunch of set images for the LEGO Super Mario Summer 2023 sets dropped. We have a Kong-themed wave. This is pretty exciting in my opinion. Still no minifigures or movie-themed sets, but uh, Donkey Kong and the like are still a pretty cool group of characters and sets and so I'm I'm really excited about these expansion sets. These are some of my favorite ones to have come out since the beginning of the Mario theme. Uh, let's just jump straight into them and take a look. So there are four new sets, not including the already revealed Dry Bowser Castle expansion set. And uh, we'll start off down here with Donkey Kong's Treehouse expansion set. Uh, this is the main expansion set for this summer wave. And uh, with it, we get Donkey Kong. It's gonna be $80 in Canada, 555 pieces. So it is expensive. Uh, but overall, I think the set looks pretty good. now. Uh, I am actually, to be honest, not 100% sure what this other Kong minifigure, or it's not a minifigure, brick built figure is in the corner here. Um, I know Mario reasonably well, but not amazingly well. So I'm not entirely sure who this is, but I, I like this Kong figure as well. Uh, no Mario coming here, just our two different Kong figures. We have the little treehouse build, which I think looks pretty good. I particularly like how they've actually done the roof here. Is this a new piece for these leaves in two colors? I'm not sure. I don't recall seeing it before, but that doesn't mean it's new. I've just never built it myself but yeah that that really jumps out at me uh, i really like this hammock piece over here as well uh, the drums at the front there's clearly still uh some stuff here that makes this an expansion set that you know your mario can kind of wander through this quote unquote level uh but i do think uh it does focus more on the treehouse build which is nice i appreciate it and and i think it looks pretty good this could go as a display piece pretty well uh, as well, which personally I like because I don't love the current way that they're doing Super Mario sets, but it's popular clearly because they're still doing it. So uh, something that's working for them, can't knock that. Then up next we have Rambi the Rhino expansion set. This is a very small expansion set, uh, $14 in Canada, it'll be 10 in the US and it's 106 pieces. And I actually, I really, really like this set. I wish we would get more sets like this more often. I, I miss the days where we just get these cute little builds that are just one small build for like 10 bucks and uh, that's it. It's a nice build, it's fun, it's small. Uh, I feel like we don't get enough of those these days and this to me has some of that classic Lego charm to it. I really like the Rambi the Rhino build. I think it's great, it's a perfect scale and they've done the design really well. And uh, these little block pieces here for him to smash around are, are a nice little uh, addition to the set, I guess. So overall, I think this is really nice for what we get. This is one of my favorites from this wave. Then we have Dixie Kong's Jungle Jam expansion set. This is gonna be $30, 174 pieces. So pretty pricey, but honestly, I can, uh, looking at what we get here, I, I'm okay with the $30 price range, even though I, it's a, Pretty expensive in terms of price to piece ratio. It'll be 25 in the US. Um, I, I can see paying that much money for this set. I actually really like this set as well. I really like everything in this wave. Uh, again, we've got that leaf piece that stood out to me in the first. I, I really like the Dixie Kong uh, build here. I think she looks great. Uh, this parrot who I probably should know who that is and I don't, I think looks very good as well. I like the use of the, the splat gear pieces here. The guitar in the corner, I, I like the string lights. Uh, yeah, just in general, I think this is a fun little scene. It's nothing crazy, uh, but I, a little stage with some lights, a great Dixie Kong build. I think this is a lot of fun. Uh, I could see this set doing really well. Again, the focus seems to be to be more on the builds than playing through the course itself, which I appreciate. Then lastly, we have what is undoubtedly the best set in this wave, Diddy Kong's Minecart Ride Expansion Set. Now, this has 1,157 pieces. It's going to be $140 in Canada. That means presumably $100 in the United States. 
which is a really good price to piece ratio, especially for a Mario set. It's a shame we do not have more images here because what we do have here looks fantastic. Uh, Diddy Kong himself is okay. He doesn't blow me away. Funky Kong over here on the other hand, absolutely awesome build. I love that we're getting Funky Kong in here. That's that's just great. Uh, mole Guy, who again, don't know his name, or maybe he's just Mole Guy, who knows? Uh, but that's a fun build as well. So again, three figures here that I really like, or three brick build figures that I really like. This plane over here is a nice touch. It looks pretty good. And then I just love the minecart track. Like, like, I think it looks really well built. It reminds me of, I, I cannot remember what that one level in the, the Mario Kart game is, uh, that is like that underground cave one. Anyway, uh, this is what I think of when I see this, and I think that's awesome. Like, again, it looks really great. The the, the cart build itself is a lot, of, a lot of fun. The track design looks great. I love the obstacles. I love how it feels like there's a whole bunch of stuff for you to maneuver around this track. I'd love to know what this TNT does. There's obviously a play feature there. Uh, a fun little shark build as well. Uh, in general, I just think this looks really, really cool. Really, really cool. And very, very good value for the price here. Uh, you can fit Mario and Diddy Kong in the cart as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It just seems like a lot of fun running Mario along a minecart track seems like a great time. That's all I have to say though. That's it for this wave. Five new sets technically because there's Dry Bowser's expansion set as well, but we saw that a while back. It's another set that I like. I don't know if I made a video on it or not. I think it looks decent, but it's not my favorite Bowser themed build. But all four of these Donkey Kong sets that are coming out, I really, really like. I think it's a great wave. Probably my favorite Mario wave to date. Let me know what you think about these sets in the comments down below, though. I'm always curious to hear what you guys have to say as well. If you like this video, please leave a like. It's a great way for you to show your support. Subscribe for more content like this, like a news videos, reviews, all that sort of stuff I have on my channel. So if that does interest you, please do go check it out and subscribe so you do not miss my videos when they come out. With all that said, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.